ebony and ivory reptiles. All right, so let's talk about breeding and how we pair our ball pythons. I've noticed I've never done a video on how it is that we pair. And we have a few locks right now because we're in Reno, Nevada and it's snowing. So <laughs> yeah, May 2nd and it's snowing outside. But um, so we keep all of our males right here down at the bottom on the bottom few rows here. Um, and the reason we do that is because it's hotter, heat rises or whatever. So we like to keep the males cooler, um, retain the sperm, uh, don't kill off their sperm, all that kind of good stuff, right? And so then we have all of our, then all the females are up above that, this, then the third. Um, but we keep our, one of my males is still over here, the DG Hypo Head Clown male. He's locked up right now, but he actually resides over here in the V18. He's about sub, six to 700, he's about 700 grams right now. He's a crazy eater. Um, but, uh, and hasn't stopped eating at all during this breeding season. So, um, but I only do three tub sizes, so I usually leave stuff in here up to, uh, in the V18 up to like 700, 800 grams anyway, because I only do the FB5s, the V18s, and then this here. Um, but I'll get into a video on that later. But how we pair our ball pythons over here is um, we fed on s Saturday night, and then Sunday we give them that kind of digest. And then last night, Monday night, we threw the males in, and let's see what we have. So in this pairing here, we have a, um, this is will be our hypo, uh, our DG hypo pet clown being paired to a homemade or home produced, um, and they're currently locked right now, uh, inchy fire head, or inchy fire clown head desert ghost. Pos head hypo because her dad is Pos head hypo. Uh, so we'll be testing that out to see if that proves out. Right here next to them is her dad who is currently putting in work right now. And he is our Inchy Fire um, Desert Ghost Mail. Oh, there's a camera. Desert Ghost Mail being bred to the Stranger Clown Girl. So right there you can see their tails right there are interlocked. And that is what it looks like when the snake is breeding. Um, their, their tails interlock, the male will lay on top of the female, kind of quarter a little bit, and then, um, yeah, they'll line their tails up, and that is what we call a lock. So let's close them back up. I don't want them to break away. Um, the other pairing we had going on right now was this one down here, which is a, our, I'll grab my hook so that way I could uh, record at the same time, but um, this, oh, this one right here is our leopard. No, yeah. So she's a leopard blade clown currently being bred to a hurricane head clown. Um, both of these, this pair is special to me because both of these snakes were produced by two of my partners. The male, the hurricane head clown was produced by Antoine from High Desert Pythons. And the female was produced by my my guy, my mentor, Justin Thomas. Let's see if I can get in there and see him. They're both back there cuddled up. Um, produced by my mentor, Justin Thomas, the homie who's helped me since the very beginning. But you can see again, they are locked up as well. Hoping to make some hurricane leopard clowns um, with that pairing. And then the other one, so I don't know if these two are locked up, but this is an entry yellow belly female. Yeah, they're not locked up right now. So this is a cypress head clown male and an entry uh, yellow belly head clown female. So she's already, you can see, she's already swollen up back there. She's got close to 20 millimeter follicles. This is their last lock. Uh, or she's got close to 25 millimeter follicles. This is their last lock. Um, if they lock, uh, they look like they were going to this morning, but they're not right now. Um, so maybe he'll lock her tonight. If not, you know, maybe she's just good, but he is trying, he's working her. He's on top of her trying to quarter this, that, and the other. So that is what it looks like to, uh, 
Very much. Hey, so I hope y'all like that, man. That's what it looks like to, uh, that's what it looks like over here as we're pairing up. Those are just four pairings we did just the other day. And, you know, three, we have four locks for sure. I do remember the entry fire, the one I just said wasn't the Cypress Mill. They were locked this morning. Uh, they're not right now, uh, but I'm going to leave them in for another day, see if he wants to get one more lock in there while he's in there because I usually leave them in for a minimum of like two and a half, three days. Um, and so, yeah, but that's how we do it over here. Throw the male in there with that female for about two to three days, let them lock up, then take them out. Um, and let him go back to do his thing, man. I hope y'all having a wonderful, blessed season. It's your boy, Big E. It's your homie. It's your nephew. It's your uncle. It's your favorite relative. You already know, baby. Big E signing off. Peace.